Okay, so I'm going to start my makeup collection and then go to the beauty room afterwards. I know a lot of you are more interested <laughs> in the makeup collection, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, give you an overview, show you guys what's changed, and um, it's changed a lot since my last makeup collection video, so I'll link that old one down below if you want to see it. And let's just go ahead and get started. So first thing is this drawer. I talked about it last time. It's my Alex 9 drawer. You can get it from Ikea. And then this table right here is from Ikea along with the chair. And then this is a mirror from Vanity Girl Hollywood. I have a ton of questions. People asking me, is it worth the money? Because it is pretty expensive. Honestly, the light payoff I don't think is the best for makeup. Um, I would want to switch the bulbs out to maybe like natural light bulbs instead of the ones that it comes with because I don't feel like it necessarily gives off that great of light. I mean, that's just my opinion, but I bought it because I love how big the mirror is because it is a huge mirror and it just looks so glam in the makeup collection. So, yeah, I thought the lighting was going to be a little bit better, but I'm not that impressed to be quite honest with you. Okay, so moving on, like I said, this is the whole setup. Um, down there, that's some products I have to do a haul on, along with this one, so you can just disregard those. But let's start over here. So I, over here I have my Numi straightener holder and then my Numi Megastar flat iron. I always have coupon codes for them down below, so you can check that out if you're interested. I have my MAC bag that's full of products that I'm going to do first impressions on. And then over here, this is my Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer in Summer Escape, and it smells like a dream. Then over here, we have my Urban Decay B6 Spray Philosophy Total Matteness. I have some Kabukis right there. So then back here, I do have my brushes, and then this really, really big mirror is actually from um, Bed Bath & Beyond, and it was like $40, I think, but it's a huge mirror, so it's great, especially for videos, so I have something nice and close up. Like I said, this is for a haul, so you can just excuse that. Oh so yeah, that's basically the whole table top I have right there. Everything else is um, pretty much stored away. And also down here I have a Sephora bag that's full of products I regret buying. Moving on to the top of my Alex 9 drawers. I do have two of these lipstick holders. Excuse my hand, I got swatches galore on it. These are two lipstick acrylic holders from Amazon. I will put a link below. You can Google acrylic lipstick holders and it'll pull up right away on Amazon. Holds 24 lipsticks, so these are all the lipsticks that I have and I keep them stored up right here so I can see all of them just so you know I don't miss out on any of them and I can remember what colors I actually have. And plus it looks really pretty, right? So then back here I have my MAC Rush Cleanser. And then this is actually a Bath & Body Works candle. I depotted and everything. I've done this a lot. So to the subscriber who told me how to put hot boiling water in it and let it sit overnight, thank you because I've been using these for so many different things. But this is where I keep setting sprays and like my little bitty brush cleaner. So I have my MAC Fix Plus, Scandinavia, Ben Nye, and then my MAC brush cleaner like I said. Have those stored in the middle. And then over here I just have my two beauty blenders. Back here, these are cups that are actually from Sonia Kashuk. You can get them at Target. I got these a while back, and they're cute. They have, like, little brushes on them. But I have two back here that just store my extra brushes if I need them, so these mainly stay clean. And then I have another Bath & Body Works candle, and this stores my bigger brushes, like the Real Technique brushes because the handles are so large that they don't fit in a lot of different containers very well, so... Having an extra Bath & Body Works candle to hold all of these is great, and yeah, I just keep a bunch of my different brushes in there. Now moving on, this is the top drawer of my Alex 9 drawers. This is all my eye stuff, so I have individual shadows in here. I have like pigments here from NYX, pigments from Maybelline, MAC, I have MAC pigments all the way back. I also have color tattoos, Sigma shadows, you know, just random individual shadows. I have little palettes like this I store in here. And if you're wondering, I have like little sets like this in here. I actually got these from Walgreens, and it comes in a set. So it comes with this, this one, which is a really nice big one. It comes with this little skinny guy, and then comes with a baby one, which I will show you here in a minute. So these are great. They actually store pretty nicely in the Alex 9 drawer, and I really like the way that it looks. I think it just looks so nice and nothing too much, you know? So, yeah, I got these at Walgreens. I think they were like eight for each set. And in this one, I just keep like my Naked Basics palette, Brow Bar To Go, Maybelline Quads, 
my uh, Wet n Wild, my paint pots in here. Just, you know, stuff I reach for a lot. Just my little mini palettes. And then again, I do have little palettes over here as well. Kat Von D, those are the, her palettes, and then like Wet n Wild. And I keep extra shadow bases from Sigma in the back as well. Like I said, this is basically all my eye stuff. And then over here I have some tools are in here. I have tweezers. I have, what is this called? Eyelash curler. I have this little guy for your eyes, eyebrows to kind of shave extra hair. I have, you know, scissors. And then I have my brow products in here, extra brushes, ones that are, you know, dual ended. Primers are in here. Yeah, just kind of like miscellaneous for your eyes. Tools, brows, whatever goes right here. So that's the first drawer. Now in the second drawer, it's still kind of miscellaneous. Um, I have in this little guy, this is actually from Dollar General. I just took off the handles on the side. But I got this and it stores all my lashes. I obviously need to restock because I pretty much use almost all of the natural ones up. But all my lashes go in there along with lash glue. And this is the other little guy that comes in the set with the net baskets from Walgreens. And right here, this is where I keep all my mascaras. I go through this pretty often and kind of get rid of ones I don't use. And I keep little samples in here as well. So that's where they all stay. This is like eyelashes in a little case from Winks. And then I have a lip erase and my Nivea lip butter. Right here, this is where I keep like sample lipsticks like this. Um, I keep lip glosses, lip liners, all of that just chills in here. And then in the back, I have individual shadows as well. And this little guy, I keep all of my eyeliners. If it's gel, stick, liquid, anything. But that's just what I keep in there. Now this drawer is my favorite because I am a face junkie. Right over here, I do keep primers. I have my Benefit primer, the 15 hour one as well. This one from L'Oreal and some Eve Pearl primer. And I just keep those right there because they fit and they just you know work pretty well in this area. And then right here, I keep all of my foundations and tinted moisturizers and obviously this powder from Dior as well. But I also have like little samples of primers in here. And yeah, anything to do with foundation, tinted moisturizers, or anything like that, they go in this little drawer. Here I have powders and a concealer palette from MAC. So I just keep most of my powders in here. Yes, I do use all of them. I've gone through my makeup collection and I have a huge bag full of stuff to give away to my friends and family. So these are things that I reach for now. I do have just, you know, regular powders. I have this Makeup Forever one that I'm sadly almost out of because Sephora does not want to restock this for some reason. And then here I keep another little mesh basket and this has my concealers in it. So any concealers that I use are in here and yeah, they just, everything in this makeup collection is updated so these are things that I do use. And in the back I have extras of stuff, I have an extra Eve Pearl primer. I have some samples back there. I have my CoverGirl corrector. Everything like that. This is another one of my favorite drawers. Again, it has to do with face products, so I love it. This is all of my high-end stuff, so my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes are here. My MAC Blushes. I have NARS. More NARS blushes and bronzers. Then I have bronzers here. Um, Chanel, The Balm, Too Faced. Then I have some Benefit products. Smashbox, uh, what are these called? Tarte, Laura Geller, The Balm. Here I keep my Milani blushes. They fit so perfectly just right in here. And then I also have a L'Oreal Lift blush. Then down here I keep my The Balm highlighter and bronzer. Over here I have my favorite blushes from the drugstore. They're Jordana. I love these blushes. And then I have like a little bitty Tarte one, a NYX one. Physicians Formula and then NYC just all the other drugstore stuff and then I have Tarte back here as well Because they didn't fit anywhere else and then this is basically the last of the makeup It's my palette drawer. I moved this down here because I tend to reach for them um, Down here a lot more than I did when they were up top So I have like this little one from Mac my Mac regular shadow whatever you call it <laughs> have a blush palette from them BH Cosmetics is in here I have Laura the Balm, Naked Palettes from Urban Decay, more Urban Decay, 
Sigma Shadow um, Kit NARS Blush Palette. And then I have like all these Z palettes. I love Z palettes. I deposited all my Wet n Wild shadows in here, which is why I have so much room in my eye drawer. Just these little guys come in such great handy because it gives you so much more storage in your makeup collection. And I just love them and it's great for travel. So, okay, this next drawer, I keep my extensions laid out in here. I like to keep them here because it's just a nice drawer and they're not all tangled up together. They're just nice and laid out. I also keep these double sided little q tips. These are my faves. I got these from Walgreens. Keep some makeup remover wipes in here. And this is what I was storing my makeup in um, in these drawers. They're from Dollar General, but ever since I got the ones from Walgreens, I like them a lot better. So I just have a ton of these now because I went and spent like five or six dollars on all of them, which is not bad at all. So if you're looking for an alternative, definitely recommend the black trays from Dollar General. And I have like my Sephora Rouge card in there and my Pond's BB creams that I'm going to possibly give away. I don't like this BB cream, but probably gonna give it away to the family and friends. And here I just have like extra curling irons. I also have some makeup bags. I have like a Tory Burch one that cracked, which made me so upset. And then a Michael Kors one in the back. I also have this hourglass box and some little containers that need to be cleaned so I can use them again. That's what I use to put my foundation or concealer on so I don't have to use my hands. And again, this little clear guy is from Dollar General. So here I keep more of my curling irons. That's basically all that's in here is just more and more curling irons. And yeah, they, I love this because they're stored away and there's not cords like everywhere. So this nine drawer comes in great use. Even if it's not all for makeup, it can be used for like all your other girl products that are in the way. And then this drawer is kind of like my messy miscellaneous drawer. I have more of those little brow shaper guys. I have this, which is an Ipsy bag full of bobby pins and hair ties, you know, little things. Have some sock in here, have nail polish remover, my brush. I have some my straighteners in here, you know, just miscellaneous stuff. And then a lot of the random little things are in this pink bag as well. So that is pretty much my makeup collection and where I store all my makeup now. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the room. Okay, so this is what the beauty room looks like from the door. Just give you a quick little turnaround. Now, yep, those are my lights. <laughs> Keep in mind, this room is not done. I actually wanted to get y'all suggestions on a bunch of different things, so if you have any decorating ideas, because these walls go pretty far up, I would love to know what you would think. I wanna get rid of that Marilyn poster and do something else, but I can't think of anything, so if you're a creative and you're a big room decor type of person, then please let me know your suggestions down below. I would love to know. So let's go ahead and get on to the tour. Okay, so over here to the left of the door, I have this big mirror. If you watched my last makeup collection video, this was the mirror that I had on my vanity. And then going down, I do have my self-tannering spray guy. And I just put those shoes up there the other day, so excuse it. Um, and that's my hair dye as well. So I have a bunch of things on top of it right now because I'm trying to get pack in for LA. But yes, that's my spray tan system from Million Dollar Tan. I still love it, still use it, it's great. So I just keep it right there. And then that little table right there is actually what I use for filming. I set it in front of my camera and I just, you know, film away and set all my products on there. And it came in great handy. I actually got that from Target. Now for this side, um, this is right next to the door. I have my nail polish rack. I actually got this off of Amazon, and if you are interested in it, you can just go to Amazon and type in acrylic nail polish holder, and millions of them pop up. I don't know exactly which one I got, but it's one of the acrylic ones. <laughs> and then I do have a sign up top that's just like a little nice quote. I love things like this in my room. It's just really girly, and I love inspirational stuff like that. And then over there, I have my crossbody bags and my Michael Kors bag and Victoria's Secret, blah, blah, blah. They're just hanging on this little TJ Maxx hook that I got. I think it's like eight bucks or something. I'm not a purse collector. Honestly, if I don't use a purse, it's the same with my clothes. If I don't use my clothes or my purses, I end up just going and giving them away because I don't use them. So the only kind of purses I like to actually keep are my high-end ones, which of course is basically my Michael Kors stuff. And then I keep my crossbodies a lot of the time. So because I use crossbodies a lot. So those are the only kinds of purses I keep and wristlets I'll keep, but 
Anything else, I kind of just, you know, give it away or take it to the consignment shop. Okay, so moving on to this over here, and excuse the cords if you see them, these are for my lights, this just, you know, YouTube problems. That MAC bag right there is actually products I've used up, so I keep them in there. Then I have like little flowers and Colton's picture, yes I still am engaged, a lot of you have been asking, I'm still engaged. <laughs> and then right there is one of my Muji drawers, I just, you know, keep all of them because they were expensive, so I just, you know, keep them and if I need them I'll use them. And then I also have this little guide that says, Be Your Beautiful Best. I got that with a Pawns package with those BB creams I showed earlier. And I don't like the BB creams, but I love the packaging, so I kept that. <laughs> and then down below, also this uh, table is from Ikea as well, if you're wondering. And then this down below, these are YouTube chairs I got. I hit 100,000 subscribers, so you could get like a backpack or chair, little chairs, and I decided to go ahead and get those. And then down below there are just some boxes that I want to keep uh, for now, maybe for future reviews, and also a Muji drawer as well. And then right beside it, I'm not a huge jewelry collector. I'm more of a studs and rings kind of person than I am necklaces. So that's just where I keep my necklaces and some of my earrings and studs. Most of them are right there in that little silver box. But yep, that's just what's on top of there. And like I said, you know, this wall is so super big so if you have any suggestions or any links of really cool pictures that I should hang here you know getting rid of Miss Marilyn even though I do love her let me know in the comments below or you can send me something on Twitter Facebook anything like that then moving over here um, on the bottom I do have like this Victoria's Secret bag with some towels in it and my camera charger I have a Eiffel Tower picture and I have like extra makeup that I'm giving away to family and friends behind it and I'm a total 90s kid, so hello to the stereo. <laughs> I've had this for a few years now, and I just can't come around to selling it, even though I probably will. But I'm such a 90s kid. I've always had a stereo since I can remember, so that's just chilling there because there's nowhere else to put it. And then this is my old makeup desk. This is the mound drawer from Ikea. So this is where I keep my perfumes. I'm not a huge perfume collector, but these are the ones that I do have. Then over here I have self tanners and body lotions and then here is all my hairstyling products. Most of the ones I use every single day are in the bathroom like oils and stuff like that but any kind of hairstyling tools like dry shampoo, hairspray, heat protectants, all of that, they're just chilling right here. And my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works which is Passion Flower. Ah, so good. And then this is a little vase I made at Walmart. Everything in this vase including flowers, beads, vase, everything is from Walmart so that's where I got that and then on this wall I just have a little sign that says why not live a big life I got that off of Hope Look and then I also have this little girl up here doing her makeup I thought it was just totally appropriate for the room <laughs> and I got that from Bed Bath & Beyond and if you're wondering that be your own kind of beautiful quote is from Amazon and then I got this picture from TJ Maxx that says do what you love so that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this little makeup collection tour and beauty room tour. Like I said, you can tweet me, Facebook me, anything, any suggestions for decorating. Comment below. I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm not really a big home decor kind of person, so I need a little help and it'd be great to have that from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You took my heart